Hello, this is the Key Studio solar tracking device. Uh, what I've done is I've gone ahead and put it together, added all of the sensors, and I've got the batteries. I'm going to show you how it works. So first off, to notice, uh, I've got AA rechargeable batteries, and that's because I couldn't find the lithium kind that we needed. Um, but it does work like this anyway, so it's fine. Um, it's also got these four photoresistors, one on the left, one on the right, one controls down and one controls up. And what they're doing is looking at the relative amount of light in, in those different sensors. So for example, if it has more light on the left side than the right side, then the solar panel that's up here will swing to the left. If there's more light showing up on the right side, it'll swing to the right. Same idea with up and down. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this in again. What you'll notice first off is that the solar panel goes back to its default position. Um, and then it starts looking for the light, which in this case is outside in the window, um, more or less straight up in the air. What I'm going to do to show you how it works is use this point source here, which is just a headlight. Um, so, for example, if I shine it here, you can see I'm shining it on the right and the down and the solar panels coming down and also going to the right, which is what we expect. And if we allow it to find where it wants to go, it will turn all the way to the right. Okay. If I take it away, it again tries to find the light, which is coming from outside, so it's going to go back up in the air. Uh, but I could control it, so if I shine here, um, it's shining it left and down, so the solar panels come down. And now it's turning to the left. Uh, and this is an interesting point I wanted to point out, that this is, uh, it's tracking where the light is. So, for example, if it sees the light on the right, it goes to the right. If it sees the light on the left, it goes to the left. Similar with down versus up. If it sees the light up, then it does that. Um, what I was slightly surprised about is that it's not going to the final location of the light. So it does track the light. If it sees the light on the right, it goes to the right, etc. Um, but it doesn't stop where the light is strongest, and I was a bit surprised about that. I think I misunderstood what this was going to do. Um, but it does do a good job of tracking where the light is, so it's quite fun to play around with. Uh, you can see you've got some information being read out here. It's telling you the amount of light that's coming through, the temperature, the humidity of the room, for example. Um, and in general, I found this quite a nice kit to have a play with. Uh, the instructions online were very well done. Um, showed you exactly where all of these different sensors needed to go and how they plugged into the Arduino, which is um, down here. Um, quite a nice little project to do. I really enjoyed it. I liked the Lego aspect to it. So you can see they've got different Lego pieces which are holding these into place. Um, yeah, and overall, I thought this was really a really good project. Um, if I were going to make any improvements, what I would do is uh, make sure that the solar panel stops at the location of the light, not just moving in the direction of the light, because I think that's somewhere where they could improve this. Um, but in general, I had a lot of fun doing it, learned a lot along the way. The information provided online was really well done, um, very clear where different things needed to go, and quite happy with the product.